It was a day of extreme celebration for the people of Ara Kingdom, as His Royal Majesty Oba Olubayo Adishola Windapo was crowned Alara of Ara Kingdom by the Governor of Oshun State, Boyega Oyetola. This is the first time in the land after the demise of the previous king over 10 years ago to crown anyone as king. I'll tell you, it's the happiest day of my life so far. For the past 10 years, we have not had a monarch in this town. And of course, and of course, because of that, we have missed a lot in terms of infrastructure, in terms of development. I still derive the pleasure and the fact that I'm with my people. The little I can still do in terms of medical practice, the little the time can afford me to do, I will still do it, even if it's just for charity. Well, we thank God so far, Ara has been and is still a peaceful town. So we will continue on that trend to make sure more peace, happiness, tranquility in a reign in Ara. Um, and I speak for a lot of people here. It's the first time that we are seeing the king uh, being installed in our, in our domain uh, for a very, very long time. The last king had spent about 40 years on the throne, and 10 years after his death, um, this is what we are having again. So for 50 years period, it's the first time we are having another king. So we are quite excited, as you can imagine. And we, we thank God that day has come to pass. Uh, we look forward to the future with optimism, praying that everything will go well for the town. What is destructive here is that there's a leadership that can give impetus to the vision that has been developed for the town. As you heard me say, we now have an initiative called Development Agenda for Arab, which means that all the thought leaders will come together, all the development issues will be put in focus, and we then develop a strategy to see how do we get like, make life better for our people. And that started already. Uh, yesterday I was privileged to go around some of the schools where we distributed uh, learning uh, aids to the schools. So it's just the beginning. And we hope that we'll be able to touch every single sector, um, empowerment, social issues, health, education, infrastructure, you know, all the whole works, the whole nine years. The message for the other is that he has our support, he has our prayers. Uh, we pray that God will lead him to guide us aright. And I, 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 I counsel that he should ride on the, on the catalyst that this, that this occasion has provided. So that we can become, he can become and remain the rallying force for everything that we need to do to go forward. Lati ba ti anti bi mi mo ti wa nbi. Bi se nda gba soke si ta si ko ta wa o yato. Ari pe imale de ilu ara pada si da. Ni a si ko ta jo bayi. Kolon jo oro wa Lorun. Kolon jo da fun gbogbo wa. Ara tun tun la wa yi ilu tuba o tu se. A wa beere ogbon atoye fun baba wa. Kolon ojo oro mo Lorun. But in what to leave, Colon Wolfy He had about last in Ara about 11 years ago. Since then, the, king, the town has been available without a king. Until recently, when the new king was given to us, appointed to us by Almighty God, and the um, king maker of Ara, traditional council. And we are, we are happy about it. Development of the town, both nooks and crannies of the town, 
peace, tranquility, um, progress and um, infrastructural development um, all about the town and the crannies. The communities are assigned to us, improvements in our social services, farmland, industrialization, schools, health services and all sorts of things. We want all around development for the town. The Crown King, who is an accomplished medical doctor, has aspirations to improve the health condition of his people and bring development to the community. The people of Ara are optimistic and excited about the future of their kingdom with the new king, as well as developmental changes that are on the way for their community. For PLUS TV Africa, Irene Ubani. Oh, 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 oh,